G'day, James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine, and today I want to showcase this Bar Crusher 575 XS. This is a sweet bit of kit, sports fishing boat, and it's been customised with factory options to suit the end user's application. The first thing you'll notice that's a bit different about this 575, it's been placed on a tandem axle Easy Tow trailer. Now, Easy Tow trailers, as you know, make a very good quality trailer. Uh, they're drive on, drive off trailer, and very efficient at the boat ramp. They're nice and strong. And, and fitted with quality components such as your Fulton winch, your knot jockey wheel, etc. Come over to the, the, the boat. I want to show you a couple other things on this boat. You'll see sports console by design. We're going to get up and have a look at that console in a minute. We'll just come around to the transom. Let's see what's powering this girl. All right, this 575 has been powered by the maximum horsepower. That's a Yamaha 130 horsepower four stroke. Okay, I'm going to show you that this size boat doesn't need the full 130 but certain applications uh, may warrant it or certain customers' expectation of performance may warrant it. I'd be more than happy to own this boat with a 115 four-stroke, and that's speaking from experience uh, in these boats of this size. All right, as we enter this boat, you'll notice we've got a, a really easy to use dive ladder into a dive door, which gives nice clean access past uh, the transom uh, and, and past the bait board. Let's get up, have a look at this console and the seat configuration. Alright, so this is a uh, XS console. It's the, the latest uh, console design from Bar Crusher. It's designed with removable panels uh, for future uh, modification of dash layouts in the event that electronics or controls are changed, for argument's sake. But let's just start with what we've got here. We've got a Garmin 12 inch, it's the Garmin 1253 XSV unit, flush mounted in the dash with really good clear vision from the helm and the transom. We've got a VHF GME radio and we've got the Yamaha 6Y8 gauges. So they're the digital gauges that include the, um, the fuel management system, which give you all your fuel data for trip planning, such as total fuel used, fuel economy, uh, etc. We've got a 12 volt socket, we've got a couple of drink holders, and we've got the binnacle control and switch panel. The binnacle control just means there's nothing protruding from the edge of the console. It's certainly a, a high quality way to, to rig a boat. All Bar Crusher boats are fitted with hydraulic steering, even the smaller 575, 535 size. You'll notice that here. We've got plenty of switches, including the C-Tech battery charge port for your main cranking batteries, and plenty of spare switch um, stations in the event that you wanted to fit uh, future electronics. Looking at this seat upgrade, you'll see this is a, a seat large enough for a two person. It's got a um, pivoting backrest, whether you're fishing out the back, uh, or wanting to sit and face forward. They've got some locator pins there that just position at the angle that you, you require. We've got a couple of good uh, draw access here, and that just allows for, for plenty of storage, but also um, plenty of room underneath for a, a reasonable size uh, food and drink esky. This cockpit certainly, this cockpit, just come to say Troy, this, this cockpit certainly uh, opens up with the uh, folding up of the, the rear lounge. Uh, plenty of room here to fish two or three people out uh, the aft of the boat. We've got the removable drop-in, drop-out. Uh, bar Crusher bait board includes the three rod holders and the two drink holders. We've got the standard uh, factory live bait tank, which is a, a more than generous size. And we've got the cast um, alloy rod holders up the side of um, the boat. You'll notice that this customer has also opted for the clip-in, clip-out uh, rod holder system. This is certainly something that I think is undersold or underpurchased. It's a really good way to store boats whilst underway. Uh, store, store boats, store rods whilst underway. Uh, they clip on, clip off, and they can be located at any point along uh, the side decks. Okay, so they just locate in and clip down. As I said, they can be moved to any point along the side pocket. Okay, plenty of good handles uh, for support around the console. Uh, and we'll move up here now to the front of the boat. Front of the boat, you'll see standard fitment of a Saka anchor into a custom designed um, bowsprit roller to suit the boat. Big deep anchor well, plenty in there for a couple hundred meters of rope uh, if you're anchoring off a buoy. For the modern fishermen, uh, you can get the electric motor pad on the side as per this boat, and there's a couple of cleats there for, for tie off. Okay, we've got a good, generous size. Uh, front cast neck fitted with grip pad. You'll notice that this lid, as you see, is fitted with 
uh, quality stainless steel marine grade uh, gas struts, uh, which certainly mean that this, this lid isn't gonna fall down on the fingers or onto the head. There's plenty of storage up there and also um, two um, battery trays or battery secures for the electric motor uh, system. All right, as you'll see, this boat's very nicely appointed. The end user's done a great job working out what, what he wants for his boat and his application. We think it's a fantastic boat. It's certainly something I could see myself fishing out of. 130 ponies, plenty. Um, we'll try and get some uh, basic fuel data and post that maybe in the comments. If you want to uh, option or customize a, uh, a boat similar to this, look, by all means, reach out to Glenn, Cliff or Troy at the dealership. Uh, and have a chat, start a conversation, and we'll see what we can package for you. But firstly, thanks for watching this video. Cheers.